ego from being reinforcing, do you mean telling us over and over that it knows better than we do? So telling us in our mind, this is the way to go, this is the way to go. Right. The yes. That it is yeah. So that's the ego's job. And here's the, uh, here's the thing about all of what we call ego. It is very good at what it does. It's, it's one of those aspects of life where a job is done the best of anything we ever see. It has such power to delude us. I mean, really, hence, it takes, Master says, 10 million human lives. Imagine that, 10 million human lives struggling with this. What a strong foe. But the answer is always the same. Prayer, chanting, meditating, satsang. Even some of you may remember, um, in several talks that I've given recently, I've quoted Swamiji as saying, even every time we smile, even every time we smile, uh, we raise energy in our spine. Every time we do a good deed, every time we gather like this. These are not simple words. This is, we are gathering ammunition against the ego. You know, the ego is simply another aspect of divine energy. And we are trying to pull away from that magnetism to the uplifting magnetism aspect of the divine. And that's what we need to keep doing. The same very simple things over and over. And I say that honestly because, you know, often because I'm in the position I'm in and I look around the room and I know others are too, but I would say every day I'm probably interacting with close to, if not always, at least 10 people about some spiritual dilemma or question. That's a lot as days and weeks and months and years go by. It's a lot. And very often, I get that feeling of amazement that, of, let me put it this way, of how hard it is for us to honestly see ourselves. It's so hard because it's much easier to see each other. You could look at me and you could see all of my foibles. I might see half of them. I might see three quarters of them. But as sure as I'm sitting here, I don't see them all. If I saw them all, boy, I'd hold them up into that light. This very, I'd leave this satsang and just do that. I don't want to be here, really. I uh, feel very empathic with that person who was telling me they were asking Master to take them. It's like, yeah, you know, I've had 75 years now. It's a lot of life, and I've learned a lot. And Man, what's being put in front of me right now is so hard because we're nearing the top of that mountain. We're on, I've said it before, it's steeper. It's more slippery, but, and we're like this, trying to get to the top. I could understand that, but I don't see it all, or I haven't yet found the courage or the strength. So and I listen to people, and I, and I know for sure that if I just tell them outright how to solve the problem that they have, it's not going to work. I know that, and always, always, I say to myself, that's scary, Shanti, because what's in you that you're not seeing? What's in you? In what ways 
does that ego still have you that you can't see? And you might be sure that you're accurate or right or looking at things a certain way. Now, we can't get so afraid that we hide out and say, I can't teach anymore, I can't lead satsangs anymore, I can't be in satsangs anymore because I'm not perfect. That's the answer to that other question. My Lord, none of us would ever make progress because we make progress like this, and quite frankly, I mean, I and we, many of us, make progress by standing up and giving a sermon that wasn't great, that was more ego than master, or teaching a class, those things that would be so embarrassing to me that are embarrassing. Yeah, that's where I'm at. That's hard for the whole world to see. Oh my God, can I rewind? No, it's out there. And furthermore, it's even up online and the rest of the world that didn't quite catch the bad talk the first time can now watch. These are hard things. They're, they're my hard things, you know? But it's about your question, Ajay. It may not sound that way, but I'm saying to you, that's the spiritual path. We just keep coming back and coming back. We keep committing ourselves again and again to function with great humility, knowing that God is in charge. That's the answer to your question. 